At the Academy Awards this coming Sunday, the film Coda is nominated for three awards, including Best Picture. One of the main actors in Coda, Marley Matlin, has brought strong characters to the screen for 35 years. Tonight, she shares her brief but spectacular take on uplifting deaf actors and others in the disability community in Hollywood. I remember when I was about eight or nine, I was watching TV, and I remember seeing a deaf actor on TV, signing, speaking my language. And I remember thinking, well, I love, I'd love to act. If I can see her acting on television, why can't I do that when I grow up? When I won my Academy Award back in 1987, people in my community, my deaf community, were saying to me, Marley, you need to speak up because you have to be an advocate for us. You have to do this and this and that on our behalf. And I, I was just 21. I didn't understand what all that meant. CODA is about a family of four, three who are deaf, and the youngest daughter who's hearing. And they're called a child of deaf adults. That's why it's called CODA. And it's about the journey that this family goes through. And it's a very positive view of deaf people, and it's a reflection of what happens in real life. It's just a feel-good movie. My experience on this set was really completely different than something I've, I've been accustomed to. And the reason is, is because most of the people signed, the crew learned to sign. There were deaf actors, other than myself, that I could involve myself in conversations, whether it was at lunch or just talking between setups. There were interpreters everywhere. It was like one big family. I had a conversation with a few people who let me know about the studio's thoughts of casting Troy Kotzer's character of Frank with someone famous, hearing, playing deaf. And I uh, thought, mm -hmm. it's not happening on my watch. And I said, I'm out. I'm out of the film if you should have a hearing actor play deaf. I've been saying recently that um, being deaf is not a costume. And by that I mean for hearing actors to play deaf because hearing actors don't have the experience of what it's like to live with a disability. They haven't lived it. I know that people say, well, what is acting then? And I get it. And, you know, I could play a cop, or I could play a mother, I could play a teacher, I could play whatever it is. But you can't play someone um, deaf or disabled. It doesn't come off as real. I think people in the entertainment business don't give the disability and deaf community the time to be able to communicate and talk about how important it is to collaborate to be able to give them a chance to, well, to learn where we all come from. I'm Marley Matlin, and this is my brief but spectacular take on deaf actors in Hollywood. Thank you, Marley Matlin, and we are gonna let that message sink in. And you can watch more brief but spectacular videos online at pbs.org newshour brief.